Today we are talking Brussels sprouts. You may love Brussels sprouts or you may hate them, but if you hate them, it's usually because you haven't had them the right way. You probably had them and they were mushy, they didn't have any flavor, and they kind of just made you want to throw up a little bit in your mouth. Sorry. For one, you always want to clean them properly. Cut them in half, blanch them if you're making them on the stove, or you can just pop them in the oven. But either way, you want a nice good char on the Brussels sprouts. And with that, a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of pepper goes a long way. And you're done. Butter or olive oil. I love to make these on the stove on a cast iron skillet, but when I don't have much time, like today, I need to make them in the oven and just kind of forget about them until they are crispy and delicious. And that's exactly what we did in this video, and we added bacon. I made some maple bacon glazed donuts. Maple, ba bacon, bacon. I made something with some donuts and some bacon and some maple glaze. And that's when I truly found out that bacon does make everything taste better. So let's get started. Okay guys, I'm going to start off by rendering some bacon. Now you just render by cooking it slowly. You want all the fat to drain away. Now I have one bag of Brussels sprouts which I quickly rinsed off and I like to clean them by taking off the bottom and then splitting them in half. And after I split all of these in half, I'm going to give them another very thorough rinse to make sure that there's no dirt in the leaves and that they are completely ready to go. Now that they're washed, I just dried them a little bit and I'm going to put them on a sheet tray. My bacon has fully cooked and I'm going to take some of that bacon grease. We're not going to let that go to waste. <laughs> you thought I was crazy. And a little bit of sea salt, some garlic powder, and some dry thyme. Now we're going to toss all of that together and we're going to roast these in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes and I flipped them halfway. I chopped up my bacon. I'm going to add that to it now and I'm going to put it under the broiler to really get a good char on there and they are perfect. They're crispy and crunchy but tender and flavorful and they're just so good. They just popped off my dinner like popped it off. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite side dish is. I'm going to be making these a whole bunch of them for Thanksgiving. Let me know what you're going to be making for Thanksgiving. I only have but five subscribers so far. One of them includes me, so like, I'll comment. I'll comment myself and I'll tell myself what my favorite side dish is for Thanksgiving. Don't forget to subscribe to see more fun videos and to be my friend. Okay?